regards to the eight Indians detained in Qatar. Now, uh, what we are learning is that uh, Jay Shankar, S. Jay Shankar, the Minister of External Affairs, has met the families of the eight Indians detained in Qatar and he stressed that the government attaches the highest importance to this case and fully shares the concerns and pain of the families. Uh, he's also underlined that the government will continue to make all efforts to secure their release, will coordinate closely with the families in that regard. So this is with regards to uh, Minister of External Affairs S. Jai Shankar having met the families of the eight Indians who have been detained in Qatar. Now we have Sidhan back with us on this broadcast to bring us more details into this particular breaking input that we are getting for you. Uh, Siddhant, uh, if we uh, if we get into the details of this, uh, what we are learning is that uh, uh, Minister of External Affairs uh, Jay Shankar S Jay Shankar has met with the families. Now earlier, the families had already expressed how the accusations against these people are completely baseless. What more are we getting to know about this interaction that has taken place? Well, uh, you know, uh, this is perhaps a gesture by Foreign Minister Jay Shankar, and in fact. Uh, this particular case has always been on his priority list and perhaps the priority of the government of India. They have been pursuing this case from last one year with the government of Qatar and in fact um, the councillor access was also granted uh, to these eight um, ex-servicemen, uh, those who were detained uh, in uh, by the government of Qatar. Uh, so there was a, they were put on trial and in fact uh, on 26th October the judgment came uh, from the lower court in Qatar that they have been given that penalty. And that particular decision uh, came like a shock for, for the Indian government also. But we have been told that a lot of back-channel talks are going on and perhaps uh, India is trying to convince Qatar that these eight servicemen, these eight ex-servicemen uh, had no role to play as far as the snooping or spying is concerned and perhaps India has, mm, uh, you know, uh, a solid proof uh, to, uh, to prove that. Now, we have been told that some back-channel talks are also going on and perhaps Indian government is still giving a lot of efforts in making sure that uh, these eight ex-servicemen get pardoned by the government of Qatar. In fact, uh, the talks are going on at the highest level at the Prime Minister's office. This is also, we can confirm for, the, for our viewers. And as uh, NEA spokesperson Arindam Bakshi uh, mentioned the other day, that this uh, case is the highest priority uh, for the government of India and for the Ministry of External Affairs. They are keeping uh, matter low-key. They are keeping uh, the discussions, back channels uh, 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 low-key. Given the, given the good bilateral relations that uh, do, two countries have and perhaps, um, uh, you know, have spoken to some people in the government, they are quite confident that these eight uh, ex-servicemen will be pardoned and India doesn't want to trigger any sort of a diplomatic standoff uh, with with Qatar because Qatar has been a long-standing friend and a close ally of India. We have a good bilateral trade. We uh, we uh, we buy a lot of LNG uh, from them and there is a there is a great understanding between uh, the two nations and the leaders of the two nations. Perhaps uh, that channel could also be exploited uh, to get these eight ex-servicemen uh, uh, back. And that is perhaps what has been conveyed by external affairs minister to the families of these uh, eight uh, ex-servicemen. They were called to New Delhi and external affairs minister met with them. And in fact, uh, 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 he assured all of them that India is going to uh, do everything to bring back these eight ex-servicemen. Mm -hmm. And that assurance is perhaps the biggest thing, uh, thing right now given the circumstances and perhaps, uh, you know, uh, the, the orders have already uh, already come against uh, uh, against these eight ex servicemen so the assurance coming from the from the foreign minister of uh, of india assuring the family members that india is going to do everything possible to get them pardoned or perhaps to bring them back uh, uh, to india so it would be interesting to see that how indian government is going to take uh, the entire uh, process forward but what we can confirm for our viewers is that a prime minister's office is involved in it at the same time the minister of external affairs is pursuing it and uh, the officials of the Indian government in Qatar are perhaps trying to convince the government there. There are some treaties also in place between the two countries. Mm -hmm. Those treaties uh, can also be uh, exploited. So there are options and perhaps Indian government is right now mulling uh, over those options and also given uh, given uh, given good relations that India has with Qatar and perhaps after Prime Minister Modi coming to, uh, to power in 2014 the kind of relationship that India has uh, has has developed with Qatar, uh, 
uh, there there have been high profile visits uh, uh, visits also to india and otherwise so you know given that uh, the government of india is also confident but the matter is uh, is very sensitive and perhaps it also involves the lives of eight of our ex servicemen this is a reason that the ministry of external affairs is keeping this matter low profile low key and perhaps uh, you know focusing more on the efforts uh, than uh, media exercise back to you right right uh, sidant if we get into the depths of uh, what steps might be taken by the uh, indian government to make sure that these eight indians safely are returned back to india uh, if you could give us some more details in, and take a deeper dive into it just to set context for our audience out there look there are there are uh, multiple options available with the government of india um, and also uh they are uh, they i even even some uh, some experts are also referring to the 2015 agreement that was signed between the two countries uh, of uh, prisoner swap so that could also be a route a route which indian government may like to uh, to to uh, to exploit then um, given as i as i've been saying that given the relations that uh, the bilateral cooperation the defense agreements that we have uh, with qatar you know that perhaps serves as as the foundation of relations between the uh, between the uh, between the two countries and uh, you know india already has uh, 8 lakh diaspora in in qatar perhaps the largest uh, uh, in that country working and perhaps contributing to the economy of qatar and and the government of qatar very well acknowledges that and 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 you know perhaps has always been appreciative of the of the contribution of the indians in qatar so there are back channels going on there are Uh, efforts being made by the government of india multiple options are still available perhaps uh, uh, you know legal advisors and uh, can can also be hired uh, hired to convey to the government or perhaps uh, uh, those who can advise to the government of india how to uh, perhaps uh, get pardoned through legal routes then also uh, there could be a direct uh, uh, you know perhaps uh, intervention that uh, indian government can seek Uh, from from the from from the uh, from the ME of Qatar, that is also uh, 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 that is also a possibility likely on the card. So right now the officials in MEA are tight-lipped. Perhaps in government of India are tight-lipped. What we can confirm for our viewers is that the Prime Minister's office is involved in it. At the same time, uh, uh, you know the highest level of uh, uh, of of uh, how should I put it? Uh, you know the 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 best men are on the job from the government of India. and and you know perhaps they are quite optimistic also that they will give their best and perhaps uh, uh, right, they will try to bring the the ex servicemen back to the country right to. right sudhan sudhan thank you for bringing us all those details and right now we are going to shift our focus to a different story